So, we're hoping we get some action this morning. Pretty much, it's brown as down. Except little bucks, I'll let them walk, but I'll shoot a doe, or especially Chief, if Chief walks out back here. So, I'm excited to see what comes out. Hopefully, we at least see some deer. That'd be nice. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can put something down on the ground. So, you guys stay tuned. seen a ton of deer this morning really good morning I was on that buck I was up on his neck I never seen his body um y'all let me know if I should have took a shot I don't think so it's probably good that I didn't um I don't know if I could have made a I mean I could have guessed but I don't know if I could have made a decent shot on him so other than that we've seen about eight does um so about 10 11 deer in total that's the most I've seen in a long time on a sit so, action pack this morning. We're gonna pack up, I'm gonna go back, gonna get some coffee, you're gonna get some snacks in the backpack, and we're gonna head down to the dream deer hunting spot. Got some pictures of some deer down there this morning. Try to sneak in and I'm gonna sit in the blind for a couple more hours. Um, I would stay back here, but I have a feeling I don't think any more deer are gonna move through. So, I'm gonna get down there in case they, the deer that we've seen wrap down there and get down there. So. That's the plan. Hopefully, hopefully we get some action down there and get something down on the ground. So, you guys stay tuned. I'll pick you up once I get down there. You on? Yeah. Should I come to that house though? Got her, watch her, she's gonna go down, watch her. Yeah. Watch her. Come on. I see her, hang on. She's standing. There she is. Did she go down? No. I think, yeah, she went I down. Think, yeah, she went down. You can shoot down. She went down, she went down. Yeah, she went down. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That is a beast of a doe. Oh, dude. Look how oh, big that doe is. <laughs> well, it took four shots, but... Got her done. 
let's back out and then she's I mean she's pretty much dead it's just nerves so back out go back and go get some people I knew because I seen her get back up I seen her get up when we were down there and so I figured it was probably good I, I had my scope on 12 when I shot that first one over there so that's be why I missed but so well first deer down in the 2022 season it's a doe it's a big doe but it's a deer down so that was, I don't know, that was weird. They were standing out here. You can see, they probably couldn't even see us. We were all the way, all the way up there. And that was, I bet that was every bit of 250, 250 yards or so. So, alrighty. Well, we're gonna head back and go get the, the recovery team, which is just gonna be me and maybe my dad. And we'll come back here and get her. So. Catch you guys whenever I pick the camera. I'll probably get her all cleaned up and then we're gonna be catch clean cooking this girl. So I'm thinking some loins for supper or dinner, even. It's early enough. So you guys stay tuned. Well, alright, guys, we are back here at the place. Uh, got the deer hanged up. Oh, there she is. Got her hanged up back there. Got all the knives ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her all skinned up and cleaned up the best I can. And we will catch you guys probably at a later date to cook uh, something. Probably the inner tenor loins is what I'm thinking. So you guys stay tuned. I'll pick the camera up sometime later. Everybody, it is a couple days later. We are back. Um, we have got the inner tenor loin. Like I said, we've got it all cut up and in a bag. So I actually, you guys will probably seen the video if you guys are viewers of his channel. Um, Banjo or Austin got a uh, big buck and they, I watched it on uncut and it's probably going to be out, the video on YouTube is probably going to be out by the time you guys see this. Um, but yeah, he got a big buck and they did a catch clean cook on that thing and um, they did quesadillas. So I got to thinking, well that was what I was going to do, but I was like, well since they already did that and they had talked about doing tacos, I was like, I'll just do tacos. So I one upped them. Cut this bad boy up, let it sit in salt water, um, and then we cut this bad boy up and I put it in some like teriyaki sauce, to, and I put that in over overnight. So it's been sitting in that overnight, so it's nice and marinated. Um, if you guys don't know, the inner tenderloins, it's kind of like the, the breast on a duck, they're inside. They're the tenderest meat you can get off a deer. They are absolutely phenomenal. So, with that being said, I took it up, sliced it, put some of that in, put it in the bag, and let it sit overnight in the refrigerator. I also put a little bit of duck's buffalo in there, because uh, for a little bit of spicy, We'll be adding a little bit of more of that. Um, I ran out of my other seasonings of ducks. I got like a little bit left. So I need more. But uh, then I got some Danos we're going to throw on there because that's always good. And y'all are going to hate me for this. But, well not this, but we got lettuce. We got some green salsa. That's going to be crazy. We got some uh, cheese. And then this is what y'all are going to hate me for if you guys eat Mexican food. Spicy ranch i know you're like well why would you put ranch on a top listen dude you got to go pick up some spicy ranch this stuff this stuff is the bomb dude i literally tell you it is the best stuff in the world so with that being said we're going to get this stuff thrown in a pan um, get the meat thrown in a pan get it cooked down and we're going to assemble our taco we don't have any rice that would be awesome but uh yeah that's what we're going to do we're going to see how it tastes i am super excited because i've never i don't think i've ever done this with deer so this is going to be interesting usually i just grill it wrap it in bacon smoke it grill it something like that so this is going to be interesting so hopefully this tastes good i'm going to get this all cooked up and get it all assembled and we'll see what we're working with so you guys stay tuned Well, that has been on there for a few minutes now. Um, it's hard to tell if it's like, you know, still like if it's done because it's been marinating in that uh, sauce, so it's already brown. But it's been a few minutes, so I think we're think we're good on that. So first, I have already I assembled a little bit. We've got some lettuce down. We got a little bit of cheese. We're gonna put the meat. A little bit more cheese. A little bit of this homemade, by the way, green salsa, and then some spicy ranch, and we are good to go. So I'm gonna get that done. 
and then I'll pick you guys back up. It's gonna be hard. It's hard to film and do that at the same time. But I just thought I'd let you guys know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna do that real quick, and then I'll pick you guys back up, and we're gonna try this bad boy. I'm super excited. So you guys stay tuned. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, would you take a look at that? Absolutely beautiful. Got us a few chips. You know, when you're eating a taco, you always have to add in some chips. It just gives it that nice taste. Now, I will say that green salsa smells really spicy. It's I've never tried it. Somebody gave it to us. I haven't tried it yet. So, here we go. Here's our taco, burrito, whatever you want to call it. First bite, here we go. That is literally fantastic. All right, well, my camera fell. I've got it set up on a something. But anyways, literally amazing. Um, I think it turned out really good. I'm going to go grab a piece of just a straight deer and try that. That was one whole uh, inner tunnel. That was a whole one. It didn't make a ton. Like, it shrunk. I thought it would make a lot more. But here's the piece of just the deer. Oh my gosh, dude, I literally have no idea that's deer, not a hint of game, get a little bit of Danos in there, a little bit of spicy ducks, and then the, that teriyaki that I marinated in, you get all the flavors, very flavorful, packed full of flavor, not a hint of game, this is probably one of the best things I've made so far. Now we got to do it with the chip. Try it with the chip here. Oh, dude. Mint. That is absolutely phenomenal. It's it, That salsa, wow. That salsa is spicy, dude. Woo. That salsa gets after it, but... I will say, this is probably the best thing I've ever made on the channel. Dude, that salsa, man. The deer is literally the best thing I've ever made so far on the channel. It turned out so good. So, yeah, that was that was super good. Um, I'm going to down the rest of this because this is probably the best thing I've had in a long time. I'm going to down the rest of this, and I'll pick you guys back up in the outro. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I just finished that. That was absolutely amazing. Like I already said, whew, had to take a minute there and get some water. My mouth still is burning. It's on fire from that green salsa. Absolutely amazing. I love it, but it's just like super, super hot. So, but anyways, that is going to wrap up today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Got a deer down. It's been a while. It's dude, we've been grinding for a deer. It wasn't a buck. Got a good dough down, really good dough, like she was huge. In case you guys are curious, we went ahead and sent the rest of the meat off to a processor. I'm having burger made, I'm having some stuff made, sausage, deer sticks, stuff like that. So yeah, I've got that thing sent off to the processor. Hopefully it doesn't take too long because I want to get it back because I'm excited. Haven't had deer in quite a while. I didn't get, uh, didn't, the last year's um, didn't go so well. Um, so it, a lot of it spoiled, unfortunately, with what happened. So, but anyways, that is going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, go follow me over on Instagram. And we will catch you on the next one. Peace.